every time you play so bad You're still damn good No one's gotten to you yet Every time they were sure they had you caught You were quicker than they thought You just turned your back and walked Still the same I caught up with you yesterday Morning, Harley. You big speed demon. You loved that, didn't you? You'd race the wind if I let you. What? You say you want to take me away from all this? <laughs> How soon? Hey, Max. What are you holding him back for? Holding him back? That had to be a 23.2 quarter mile. Try 24. A little lady, you've got to remember that the futurity tomorrow is a mile and a quarter. Now, we don't want our baby fading in the stretch. Can you believe this railbird? He's got half interest in the surprise sensation of the racing season, and he's still treating King Jack like an also-ran. Well, I don't know. From what I saw, Max, his stride looked a little off. You see, always listen to your partner. OK. But this time, you better watch out, because he's going to blow your blinkers off. Lie still, you might be hurt. I'm fine. King Jack, where is he? He's OK, isn't he? I'm afraid he isn't, Max. His foreleg is badly shattered. No! Harley, you can't. Isn't there anything you can do? I'm sorry. He's in tremendous pain. Don't do it, please! I can help him on this and back! Jack, Don't Jack, do it! Jack. and moves like a hurricane. Michael, you're too kind. Not you, pal. The futurity preview on Max's horse. What, a horse? Try stubborn, skittish, and expensive to maintain. Not at all like you. Never, and capable of only 40 miles per hour in short bursts. Useless creatures. What do people see in them? Dreams, buddy, dreams. This is Max's big day. Max? You mean Maxine Fleming? Right. You remember? Wolf Creek Pass, just winding up the Grinaldi case. Six feet of snow, mid-January. How could I forget? You had me hitched up to her horse trailer. I recall thinking, what next? A plow? Well, that little pony you were pulling is now the hottest comer on the thoroughbred circuit. Speaking of which, how about dipping into Bonnie's little magic money machine for me, will you, partner? Michael, it's called an auto currency dispenser, and there's nothing magic about it. We have to account for every penny. I know, I know. I'm just a little lean on cash this week. You wouldn't be thinking of squandering foundation funds on something as chancy as a wager. Oh, me? All right, but $40 and not a penny more. $40. Besides, how can a horse named King Jack lose? Michael!
Don't tell me, let me guess. That horse is making you so much money, you're moving to a better place. Hi, Michael. King Jack's biggest fan. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> You didn't hear. He's dead. What happened? He just collapsed mid-stride. I tried to cushion his fall, but his leg... Broken? Yeah. I still can hear that rifle blast. I'm sure it wasn't your fault. I pushed him too hard. I must have missed all the signs. I saw you ride King Jack once, remember? It was like you and that horse had one heart and one mind. If he had a hangnail, you'd feel it. Don't sugarcoat it, Michael. It was my fault, and I'm through with horses. I don't believe that. Michael, I know you mean well, but I've got a bus ticket to Atlanta tomorrow. You take me out and you show me the spot. Michael. No, I mean it. I'm not going to let you run away from this. Now, come on. What's that old saying? When you fall off a horse, you get... Right back on. But in this case, I can't. Because the horse is dead. And I've got nothing but bad memories out there. I know. So let's go bury him. No, I mean it. Come on. OK. OK. This is the spot. Positive. I was riding him. Maxine, who else was out here? Just my partner, Tommy Lee Burgess, and Dr. Thorpe. Dr. Thorpe, who's he, the local vet? Right. Just what are you trying to prove out here, Michael? Kid, scan this area of the track for me, will you? Normal carbon silicone composite soil, soft to a depth of... Wait, there's some glass over to your right. Whoa. This doesn't look like it belongs out here. Knowing the groundskeeper, that's just part of last night's beer bottle. No way, Maxine. It's much too thin. Kit, run an analysis on this. Reconstruct what this came from, will ya? Taught him some new tricks, huh, Michael? Taught me? Really, Max? That's like the tail wagging the horse. A micro syringe? Yes, residue shows that it recently held promazine, a veterinary tranquilizer. Promazine? Strong stuff? Like heroin for horses. They use it for surgery. I don't know what it'd be doing out here. How fresh is the residue? My calculated guess would be 36 hours. 36 hours? Maxine, how many other horses train out here? None this week. Just King Jack. Michael, what are you thinking? Thinking about insurance and about partners. Well, put a rein on it. Let me tell you about Tommy Lee. There had been times he had to choose between burgers for himself and oats for the horse. And he chose the oats? You're darn right he did. He's been a real good partner, Michael, and a better friend. Well, then he won't mind me asking him a few questions, will he? You'd do anything to avoid helping me pack, wouldn't you? You got that right. Come on. <laughs> That's my million dollar baby, King Jack. What are you doing, Harley? He'll hurt himself on those ropes. Yeah, you will try feeding him without him. He'll kick your skull in. Now, I want this horse out of here. Harley, relax. We did it, bud. We made him disappear into thin air. I got my practice. Now, how long you want me to keep him here? A day, tops. By tomorrow, you'll be pulling in enough long green to choke a horse. <laughs> Night Rider.